The University of Liverpool has connections with a whole range of companies that invest and manufacture weapons which are currently being used in Israel for their ongoing genocide in Gaza. The engineering department works very closely with BAE Systems. The university also has a contract with HP Software which is used in Israel for their surveillance and their facial recognition systems. Anti-GPS jamming technology for bombs as well as inertial guidance systems for those bombs. They've got PhD projects going on with Leonardo, with BAE, um, with Collins Aerospace, with Raytheon. And the fact that this is being done with our money, without our permission, is something that really needs to be stopped. We've participated in National Days of Action. We had a Merseyside Palestine Assembly. We've always been quite off campus. There's been talk for a while about how we could do something that was more student-led. And ever since the encampment started to pop up in America, it was just very inspiring to see. And it kind of, yeah, it gave us inspiration to do this encampment. We were nervous about not getting the numbers at first, but we got enough to establish it safely. And as you can see now, we've got so, so so much bigger. Everyone's welcome, everyone can come and join and it opens up an amazing space to learn and, and, and teach and debate together. Our main number one demand is divestment. Number two is we want the university to call for a ceasefire and also accept that there's an ongoing genocide. Number three, we want a full disclosure of the university's investments and contracts. Number four is the university must look into how the research it's made has been used in the ongoing genocide and it must proportionally offer Palestinian scholarships and assistance and rebuilding Palestinian educational infrastructure. Finally, number five, any student, any staff that participates in this protest must suffer no detriment. Unfortunately, the university still has not replied to our email or invited us to talk in any capacity. We're proud to have renamed this square, which was formerly known as Abercrombie Square, to al -Arir Square. Ralph Abercrombie tried to commit genocide in the Caribbean against their indigenous peoples. al -Arir Square is named after a poet who inspired our big kite that we've made. It's a beautiful poem called If I Die You Must Live, which is all about carrying on the story and legacy of Palestine and keeping that spirit alive in future generations. He's now being killed and his family have also been killed. Naming it after a poet and an academic seemed fitting, especially seeing all the universities in Gaza have now been destroyed. So we've got a constitution that we all follow. We go over every morning just to make sure that any new people to the camp are aware of it, discuss any amendments we might want to make. So one of the points is about respect for all people of different genders, races, religions. Subgroups such as welfare team, security team have been established and that's really helping to keep the camp running smoothly. When we saw the students taking action, we were very excited. Lots of our members have been down here with practical support, bringing tents, bringing you know, non-perishable items that they need. Uh, and also giving moral and political support. As we're talking now, we're running a staff student assembly because we want this to be a movement of solidarity between students, between lecturers, between members of the public. The message to staff is one of the most complicit things is the USS Pension Fund and that needs to divest. That can't be a demand we place on the university, that actually has to be a demand we place on you. Obviously we're here for Palestine, but the issues that we're dealing with, they're interlinked with so many things. Since I've been at university, there's been a number of lecturer strikes. They're investing vast amounts of money in things like weapons manufacturing while lecturers are still struggling to get the pay rise that matches up with inflation. So we've kind of realised that this is actually a protest of solidarity with all struggles of people across the university. We've got so many people joining every day that we can't really keep up with the demand of tents. So tents, uh, sleeping bags, roll mats, things like that would be hugely appreciated. Uh, any sort of like camping gear, lights, gazebos, all that sort of stuff, anything we can do to just build the camp, make it a more welcoming place. We've had some amazing contributions from restaurants who have provided us with meals. Anything like that is like hugely appreciated. It really boosts the morale of the camp. Even people just popping in for an hour in their lunch break. We've had people from like the Pensioners Society, the trade unions, just people from all walks of life just popping in. Our message to the people of Gaza is that we are with you. We want Palestine to be free from the river to the sea. We understand the complicity of our university and we will not stop until the university stops working with these arms companies. We stand with you, we see your struggle, we're fighting for you in every way that we can. So just have hope that the whole world really is on your side and you're not alone in this.